So we got a couple of figs to review for you guys today and that we're gonna do actually a hardy Chicago review and that I'm growing a few different types of hardy Chicago um, that are new, that I have not tasted before, that I have you know higher expectations for, that sort of have a good repu reputation in the fig community um, for being better hardy Chicago types than some of the others, at least, you know. Um, and some of the figs here that I have in front of me are Kesariani. We have Norella. We're going to look at hardy Hoboken. Um, another hardy Chicago type I'm growing is uh, Sangua Dulce and Conde. Um, so yeah, it's interesting to compare these because a lot of people say that they're exactly the same and I can tell you with certainty, they're not exactly the same. Some people believe that, oh, they're just, you know, the same genetics. If you looked at their genetic code, there would, they would show you that they're exactly the same and therefore they all taste the same. But what these people don't understand, unfortunately, is that they don't pick the figs at the right time. So every day that these figs ripen on the tree, increases their flavors, changes the fruit. But if I were to pick all these figs basically at the same time in their unripe stage, you would see very little difference between them. Even the two that I really recommend is Azores Dark, Malta Black. Um, you would not really be able to distinguish much different about them. And unfortunately, people are very quick to judge and therefore, because they just continue to pick their fruits under ripe, like, you know, crazy people. I don't get it personally. Um, still see it all the time. That you just won't get those differences. It really isn't until the fruits ripen for a very long time do you get to understand those differences. Um, and will you see those differences? I mean, you know, what are we, sommeliers? We have the most refined palates there is, and it's just crazy because, you know, you have to have a really, really refined palate to be able to differentiate these fruits between each other when they're underripe like that. You need them to continue to ripen. And it just, to me, is like crazy that people... Uh, People will judge these fruits so prematurely. Even this video, even me doing this tasting right now is a premature judgment on the, on the figs that we're gonna talk about. So I have Norella here, I have two Cassariani, and then I have some Hardy Hoboken that we're gonna pick right now. They're getting attacked by ants. These ants love the Hardy Chicago types, I'll tell you that. Um, the Norella, though, is really the one that is the most ripe. And that's the, the unfortunate part, is that if I'm going to do this comparison, they should all be very ripe, but they're not. They're not. And therefore, as I said, they're just not going to be as good and as different as they should be from each other. That's the unfortunate reality. So we have, we have two Hardy Hoboken here on the end, two Casariani. The Sangua Dulce has fruited and put out some pretty good fruits these, this year and put out a lot of fruits actually, as Hardy Chicago types do. It's pretty much done at this point. Um, I'll show you the tree now, but that one actually is pretty good. However, the trees are still young. And these hardy Chicago types take a long time to really show their true colors. They will take probably, let me just pick this fruit anyway for the sake of it. It's kind of ripe. Ants are all over the damn thing. They got a lot of ants this year, you guys. It's kind of crazy. Um, but this is the tree, it's pretty much done. It fruited, I think first out of all of them, all the hardy Chicago types I have. Is that going to be a thing that happens all the time? No. Is it the earliest hardy Chicago type I have? No. Don't ask me. Don't even think about it. 
That's just how it is. We don't know. We haven't had these trees long enough. These trees are like two years old from cutting. The best hardy Chicago type actually I had this year was um, a fig called Sicilian Black, which has a reputation of not being a very tasty hardy Chicago type. In fact, I was told by Big Bill in Lancaster, a very good fig grower, by the way, I highly recommend if you don't know who Big Bill is, you go check out his website, Off the Beaten Path nursery i think that's the the uh the website but you can find them on facebook anyway bill has told me that sicilian black is just not a great tasting fig um, compared to some other hardy chicago types he has and that he thinks it's a good workhorse it's very hardy it produces a lot and it produces early and that's why he keeps it and that's why he likes it so i got a tree eventually at some point i think uh, a friend of mine craig had given me a tree from bill and then I planted it in the ground out here in the front because it's supposed to be hardy. So I figure I'll, that's where my hardiness experiment is, but the soil is very dry over there. So dry that it's insane uh, how good that fig tasted. That it reminded me a lot of a fig that was grown in California. It had that quality that just was mind-blowingly good. Even the uh, Teramo, which is another Big Bill favorite, also very hardy which typically I'm not a very big fan of the flavor. Although it is a good fig, it's not bad by any means. Um, that was so mind-blowingly good because it's planted over there in that dry soil. So even though the trees are young, the soil is perfect. The moisture has been perfect and therefore it's been able to produce really, really high quality fruit. So this is what we got here. And you know, even though Sicilian black doesn't have that reputation, it, di it did, it produced a really high quality fruit for the reasons mentioned. So here we have, again, this is uh, Norella. We have two Cassarianis, and this one here doesn't even look like it's properly ripened. Some kind of problem with it. We have the Sangua Dulce on the end, and then these are the Hardy Hoboken. The Hardy Hoboken is, um... by the way, all of these have a reputation to be a tastier Mount Etna or a tastier hardy Chicago type, right? There's others like Red Lebanese Baca and um, Black Greek from Marius. And, um, you know, there's quite a few of them. And some of them just don't catch on. Other people just kind of forget about them. And uh, it's awesome that people have been kind of growing a lot of Malta Black, maybe even a lot of Marseille Black from VS. Um, even the Azores Dark or Seo Miguel Roxo. Um, you know, but it's, it's always kind of like, uh, is it worth growing all of them? Is it worth growing both of them? And I've come to the conclusion myself after years of growing them that I think Malta Black and Azores Dark are so good, yet taste different enough that to me, I think it's worth growing both of them. Is it worth growing two of these varieties? I don't know, because we're going to taste them right now. And I would say so far they probably taste, and they are really so far this year, They've all tasted relatively the same. Um, but that said, I haven't really had any ones that were perfect. This Norella is perfect. So I'll know based on this one fruit, if this is different than the rest or in any way better tasting than the rest. Here is um, Sangua Dulce. It's quite good. Actually impressive. Some people have described this fruit as having a blueberry flavor, and I agree. It does. It has an acidic berry flavor to it. And I actually do. I think this one does sort of taste like a blueberry. I think that's pretty accurate. It's like a strawberry and a blueberry in one. And a fig. Now, there are some hardy Chicago types, like my friend Danny has described. Danny Gentile, the, uh, the owner and operator of Figbid, has described that hardy Hoboken has a cherry-like flavor to it. And um, also people have said in the past that uh, Red Lebanese Baca has kind of an acidic or cherry-like flavor to it. So let me try these now, these two hardy Hoboken, to see if there's a, there is a cherry flavor. Yeah, also acidic, sweeter though than the Sangua Dulce but not that blueberry flavor. So far, 
I don't taste any cherry flavor out of all these, the hardy hobo configs I've ripened. Now it doesn't mean, oh, that one does. That one tastes like a cherry, but <laughs> you know, um, yeah, it does. So we got one that tastes like a cherry and a fig and a strawberry. We got one that tastes like a blueberry, one that tastes like a little bit of like a cherry. Is the difference so different though? No. They're pretty darn similar. Um, all right, let's try the next one. This is Kesariani. This was one that a friend of mine, Phil Strudel Dog in Georgia really likes, and I've seen photos of it. It looks spectacular. This one here is very well ripened. So this should be a very good fruit. You know, it's so weird so far because I would say Malta Black tastes like a raspberry. The Hardy Hobo can taste like a cherry. And then the Sangue Dulce tastes like a blueberry. I mean, that's kind of crazy, is it not? All right, let's try this. The mosquitoes are getting at me. Kesariani doesn't have the, uh, the acidity that the other two have. But the pulp is thick. It's thicker. And for me, my money, it's better in that one sense. But I don't think it's still, I just don't think it's... I don't think it's better than Malta Black or Azores Dark. It's similar enough, you know? Similar enough to Azores Dark and Malta Black that you might say, why grow them all? So I would, I would suggest so far, Kesariani is the bottom of the barrel for me. Now, will that change next year? Probably. All right, let's try Norella. Now, Norella has got a pretty good reputation. There's another one actually, St. Rita, that has a pretty good reputation. But Norella, um, I had kind of really thought for a while that Norella was the same thing as Azores Dark. And I wanted to grow them side by side to really find out. I'll tell you what, this fruit looks inside and out pretty similar to Azores Dark, but this is the only one so far that reminds me of it. And you can see the, the outside there is a bit lighter in color. The other side is a bit darker, right? Azores Dark typically has this lighter color to it on the skin. It's not so dark as some other hardy Chicago's. And then the, the pulp is so thick and sticky like this one here, because this is really dried well on the tree and it's ripened well on the tree. So for me, this should be the best of the bunch. And I think this one is probably the closest I've ever seen so far to Azores Dark. Yeah. Huh. It's a shame I don't have one side by side to really compare, but I would say that's very similar to Azores Dark but I still have had better Azores Dark Figs than that. So, I don't know. It's very good. That was definitely the best one by far. The texture was thick, like it's, like it's said to be. Norella's supposed to have a thicker texture, uh, not as syrupy, quite sweet. And then the figs are supposed to have a more elongated shape, longer neck, which is good for, um, you know, split resistance. One that was really good with the, the longer neck, it seemed like, was the Vibo Valencia that I grew. Was it last year or the year before? And that one put out a lot of fruits and had that longer appearance to it. And I thought that was a really great characteristic for that fruit to have. In fact, I, I might even consider trying to get it back at some point and plant that one in the ground just to see if it really continues with that longer shape. So I like Norella for the shape. I like Norella for um, the texture, but I don't know if it's really better than uh, Azores Dark, and I don't know if it's the same. So far, I don't think it's the same. I really don't. Um, 
But if my money was like trying to find one that was very similar, it would be this one. So if you have it, you're thinking about getting Azores Dark, maybe you just stick with Neroa, right? Um, in terms of the, uh, the flavor actually, I really like the Sangua Dulce and the Hardy Hoboken. I probably would like the Red Lebanese, Baca, but they're not as thick. And for me and my preferences with the figs is that I really like the thicker ones, the stickier pulps, and Kesariani and Arella have that far and beyond so far uh, as what I've seen on these hardy Chicago types. So for me, that's, um, that's where my money's at. Um, and that's what I'll probably be sticking with in the future. In terms of Conde, I don't know. That one should be better than all of them, at least, you know, by reputation. But so far, uh, still to this day, many years in now of growing these different hardy Chicago types. I, you know, I've grown so many of them over the years. I've eaten so many of those fruits. None of them beat Azores Dark. And Malta Black is right up there with it in its own little way. But, you know, it's just, it's just crazy to think because if you planted, if I planted all of these in the ground that I just went over, all four of these trees, got them in the ground for like three or four years, maybe even five years, evaluated the fruits then, my opinions would probably change. Some, one of these might even be better than Azores Dark. And who's to say that Azores Dark is the best one? It's so hard to really make that claim. So I'm not really making that claim, but I am saying that so far for me, it is, it has been the best. And, um, you know, in the future years to come, I decide to keep some of these, keep evaluating them, come to some sort of conclusion, I think, at least for my own preferences of which one I believe is, is the best. I really like the way that Norella has been growing and also the production on it's really high. So that, to me, in terms of its performance, at least so far, has been very impressive. So narella has got a, a lot going for it, I think. But hey, guys, we'll see you soon, all right? Thanks for watching this one. Um, hit that subscribe button. You got this far, you might as well. And then also check out our blog, figboss.com. Got so much fig-related information there. We'll see you guys for the next video. Take care.